2017 and 18, Results CIC delivered workshops and one-to-one -one coaching to a group of people living with sickle cell, a condition which affects mainly people of African or Hispanic descent. Sickle cell is a highly debilitating condition affecting blood flow, which causes periods of extreme pain and fatigue. As a hidden condition, it carries stigma, which can also increase stress. The workshops concentrated on physical and mental well-being, assertive communication and legal rights. Coaching helped to increase awareness of capabilities and strengths. It used techniques encouraging positive mental health to support ways of dealing with stress, pain and society's attitudes. In July 2018, a celebratory event marked the end of the project. My daughter has um, sickle cell, she's 13 years old, and that affects us in several ways, really, because it affects how she lives her life on a daily basis. So, how she dresses up, what she eats, what activities she can take part in, because the condition affects her red blood cells, hence um, she's always anemic, so that most of the time she's always tired, and that means her not being able to cope with certain things which, or activities which other kids might cope with. And one of the main symptoms of when this happens is the pain she goes through and having to ensure that she's medicated properly to help her manage the pain. Um, so most of the time she can't walk for very long. That means I have to drive her to almost everywhere um, to, to make sure she's able to come in with her activities, making sure she dresses properly. And when she's in pain, I have to physically do everything for her, feed her, bathe her, dress her up and help her with everything which a normal 13 year old should be able to do herself. how it affects me, how I can manage it, 
and from there I've been able to manage it by doing eating well, making sure I eat certain types of food, doing a little bit of exercise, not getting too stressed out, um, able to enjoy myself as well. Uh, it's not that big of a problem or deal to me. It's just there. Uh, it's just that thing that you shouldn't really care about. It's that extra thing that you think about. So it's not like uh, work or education you need to do in your house or like anything you want to do fun. Just like uh, going out and playing. It's just that extra thing you just have to be aware of. So. And do you think that the coaching that you've had and this all coming to these sessions, do you think that that's made a difference? Yes, it has also just, I might as well just not care about the sickle cell anymore because it, what this has done is brought my confidence up and it has also brought my caring about the sickle cell up as well. But I'm not really caring about it, but I'm putting it aside while also treating it as at the same time. Yeah, because I don't speak out about it before, but then I do now because it's not really a problem to me anymore. So that's why. And has the coaching for results the IC made a difference? Oh, of course. Where do I start? It has made excellent effect on my life. It's given me the ability to be able to communicate, especially at work, what I really want, the support that I need at work so that they, they're able to support me, so that I'm able to stay in work. So I think and able to be assertive, but not too much, when how to ask for things that I need as well. So for me, I think the coaching and it's giving me as well about me to think about what do I really want to do because when I first started I didn't really know what I wanted to do I was at a crossroad and it, they helped me to be able to find that one out and go out there and do it I'm actually happy with what I'm doing at the moment so I think if you have an opportunity to get in, have a coaching session I'll say to you take it because for me it has made a profound effect on my life now, the way I see certain problems has changed. I feel like I've been looking for it from a different perspective. I've always been quite a pessimistic person, so I've always seen it in a negative light, whatever I do. But ever since having inclusion sessions, it's not to do with negative or positive mindsets, it's to do with more of how you see it and knowing to empathise with certain situations. Um, and I feel like how I was able to solve problems a lot more and you know when you see it in a sense of like you know it's not as difficult as it seems it seems more easier to cope with i feel like the coaching sessions has taught me that i feel like everybody should do that as well um what's it so, like this is the first first time that i've met with such a, um, a wide range of people who sit so, all in one room and it also taught me how i can deal with um you know so because i always felt like i was alone in single cell, but through the coaching sessions and during the whole program, I felt a lot. And there's a lot more community vibe going on. You know, a lot of the sessions that you know, the workshops that we have, like, you know, told me a lot of things. Especially, you know, coincidentally, it always happened when I'm going through certain situations. I had go to a session and they're talking about the exact same problem I'm going through. I just think it's amazing, and there's always a lot of like. There's never any type of negative vibes, it's always positive, always telling things about and they're doing it without any dismissing how you feel at all, so. I'm just amazed by the results. It actually works, the programme works. And I'm just amazed at how the patients' lives have just been transformed, how, you know, they have just gone from strength to strength, the energy, the confidence, just taking hold of uh, things and their lives and their situation and their challenges. Um, as I said, I really want this to go from strength to strength. I would like it rolled out for all the patients. I was initially so inspired by one of the patients who had
had actually gone on the programme. And in fact, she is the one that actually um, came to speak to me. And, um, I, I just really wanted to be a part of this pilot um, just because of the results I've seen the impact it had had on her life. It's also inspired me to go and learn about coaching techniques because, um, as I said, I was just so taken back by the impact. I don't know how, because Homeless was my coach, I don't, I don't know how I was able to think like this. And if I was able to see things the way he sees it, I feel like a lot of my, the things that I, you know, go through would be so almost complete. He's just very amazing, very encouraging, very caring, very, just very mature, very like, he's just like a leader. And Jane, I think she's so amazing, like she really cares for everybody um, in the workshop, like even if she, um, she didn't coach you, like she still cares for you and she still is very friendly and especially me, like I'm sometimes, I'm quite introverted sometimes. When I first met her, like, she didn't even know my name, she was really smiling at me, so I just felt like, yeah, those two are just amazing people, I just, you know, they've been doing what they're doing for years, so like they know how to, I don't know, I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Perfect, that's it, thank you. Marvellous, thank you very much.